Hi guys, welcome to my History 1301 class, online edition. Um, I wanted to sort of take a couple of minutes just to go over some of the things that um, I feel uh, you should know if you haven't already read about it, either in the syllabus or in the announcements. Um, but I wanted to let you know that um, since we're going to be doing everything online, you know, this semester, um, those of you that are already familiar with me, that have taken this class with me before, not this one specifically, but that have taken a class with me before, um, know how much I love teaching face-to-face. -face, um, and um, this is no different, right? I am going to be having, um, you know, no weekly or, you know, set meeting times for us or anything like that. But I am going to be recording lectures for you guys uh, that you'll be able to access pretty much like on demand uh, whenever it fits um, into your schedule. Um, uh, you know, I'm sure many of you have never taken an online class before. Uh, just like a lot of our faculty have never taught before. Um, you know, we're all sort of like in the same boat here, right? You know, trying to navigate this new normal, right, for the time being. Um, however, I have been teaching online for a while now. Um, and although I love teaching face-to-face, -face, I, I love it. Um, you know, I also like doing this very much. So I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of those elements of my face-to-face -face teaching, like the discussion and stuff like that, and bring it over to this, you know, virtual world that we are having to live in for the time being. So anyways, I wanted to sort of share with you some information that I think um, is important, especially because we're already, uh, you know, towards the end of week one. I can't believe it. It's, it, it's, it got here so quickly and it's almost over. Um, but if you haven't already read this in the syllabus or in the announcements, um, I want you to know right here, right now, that you should be working on the first module, which is the Start Here Course Introduction module, um, and try to get all of this stuff done by Sunday. The way that this class, that I'm going to be running this class, is basically everything. Um, if it's a new chapter or a new unit, it will always open on a Monday and I'll always leave assignments open all week, right? That way you have plenty of time to get it done. Um, and so this is no different. I'm going to do that for the online class as well. Um, however, for the first week, which is this one, um, you should be getting through all of this right here. And it's not a lot of stuff, but, you know, get it done because we have other things coming uh, very, very soon. And so make sure that you're reading the course syllabus. Got to read the course syllabus and the class policies um, because there's a lot of information on there uh, that you got to know, all right? So I know that everybody's syllabus pretty much looks the same, um, but make sure that you look at it, especially the last page with the breakdown of um, the weekly breakdown, right? How it's going to go from here to December. Um, so make sure that you're on top of that uh, and then go ahead and go through the first day, uh, you know, the class policies because that has a little bit more detailed information on certain assignments, you know, late policies, extra credit. I mean, I'm sure this is stuff that you are wondering, right, and want to know about. So I have it on there for you. So make sure that you read these two handouts. And then once you're done with that, complete the syllabus quiz, right? So this is a quiz to make sure that uh, you read both documents, that you read the information at the, you know, in the start here part of uh, the course. All very important information that you need to know, you know, the first week. Um, so again, the syllabus quiz is due on Sunday. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and introduce yourself uh, to the class, to me. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, what is your major or, you know, if you're undecided, which major do you have in mind? Um, what are your hobbies? Uh, what is your favorite book? Uh, and if you don't have a favorite book, uh, what is your favorite song or artist? You know, tell me about your, your likes in that respect. Um, another one as well uh, is do you like history? Uh, I get a lot of no's on this one, and that's okay. Not everybody likes history. That's all right. Uh, I'll give you um, 
you know, some information on me. I didn't like history in high school either. Uh, at least not in school. I do like history, but just not in school. And it wasn't until college that I liked it, that I enjoyed it. And that, you know, first day sitting there, I was like, that's what I want to do. So, uh, what? but despite that, however you feel about history, what is your goal regarding this class, right? So we're, you're all in here because you need to be here, right? So what are you going to make of it? right are you going to try to learn something right uh what's your approach how open-minded are you uh about history and so uh make sure that you post these things about yourself um you know i think you you hit like reply or something like that oops yeah you hit reply and then uh post in your information and then once you submit it you'll be able to see everybody else's uh responses and so what i want you to do is um you know, uh, post on another classmate's uh, discussion posts as well, um, you know, just to get some dialogue going, uh, a little bit of camaraderie, right? Um, one of the things that you may have noticed if you're taking more than one online class this semester is that everybody's having you do introductions, right? Um, so it's, it's a very, like a fundamental element of online learning. Um, it, you know, we want to make sure that you don't feel isolated uh, or alone in this, right? Um, and so it, it's a way to sort of engage you guys and, uh, you know, let everybody know that you're all in the same situation. We're all trying to make the best of this. And so it also helps me get to know you a little bit and for you to get to know me a little bit too. So I went ahead and I posted some information about myself there just to get the ball rolling on this. Um, and so feel free to, you know, comment on those things if you feel like it. Uh, but more importantly, make sure that you do this discussion by Sunday, okay? Because after Sunday, it's going to close. So, because, you know, we got other things going on as well. Um, another big a question that I've been getting a lot is, do you need the book? Yes, 100%, you need the book, you gotta have it. I don't care if it's a new book or if it's, you know, two, three years old. Um, fourth edition will, will work fine. I think I have a, I think I might have a third edition here. Oh, no, I don't. Um, I don't know where all my books went. All my books just disappeared. Uh, but even a third edition will work, which is a lot older. It's probably like four years old. Um, you just need the book because you're going to be doing these like chapter reading quizzes where um, it's 10 questions, multiple choice, straight out of the book. Okay, so you you got to be keeping up uh, with the reading this semester and uh, the chapter reading quizzes are a way to ensure that you're doing that. Okay, so. What do you gotta do by the end of the week? All of the course introduction uh, assignments that are there, you do your discussion, you do your sil your uh, syllabus quiz, and, um, and what else was on there? That's it, so you got two things. Syllabus quiz and the discussion, okay? After that, um, make sure you got your book, make sure you're ready to go, okay? And we are beginning with unit one. Okay, so let's talk about unit one for a second. Um, I am going to be posting uh, video lectures for you guys. So I am going to record a lecture on uh, this portion right here, which is the first three chapters um, of your book. Okay, so chapter one, three societies on the verge of contact, contact and settlement, expansion and, it, and its cost, and then a little bit on chapter four, which is, you know, basically the, um, um, you know, only pages 63 to 79. I am reserving um, the part in chapter four with the Enlightenment and the French and Indian War, also known as the Seven Years War, for the beginning of unit two, which is the American Revolution, okay? So all of unit one is this three chapters plus a little bit, uh, in chapter four, which is basically like the growth of the colonies um, prior to the French and Indian War, right? Prior to 1763. So uh, what should you be doing after that? Well, as you read a chapter, do the reading quiz, right? Get it out of the way. Think of it this way. If you were to be, I was 
looking to see if I had a syllabus here. I don't. But if you were to be, uh, if you were to look at the syllabus, it's essentially like a weekly breakdown, right? It, so you should be trying to read a chapter per week, okay, minimum. Um, and so as you read the chapter, do your reading quiz, right? Get it out of the way. Um, knock it out. Do not wait until, you know, the day before the exam to submit all of your work because I guarantee you, you're setting yourself up for you know suffering okay so don't do that uh, go in there take the reading quiz you get two tries it's all multiple choice yes you need the lockdown browser uh, but do not share answers with anybody do not try to cheat or anything like that because I will be reviewing these videos okay so uh, yes no screenshots of any kind cell phones are not allowed at all if I catch you with a phone I'm gonna call you out, I'm gonna email you, we're gonna talk about it, and then you're gonna get a zero, okay? So don't do that. Um, especially on an assignment like this, right? You got 30 minutes, 10 questions, multiple choice, two tries, I keep the highest grade. It doesn't get much easier than this, okay? Get that done. Um, so the other thing that, uh, the way that I designed this class, um, was for ease of access, right? I, I was thinking of you guys when I designed this. What would I want my class to look like if I had to do it online? You know, the last thing that I want you guys to be doing is like looking around for what it is that you should be doing, feeling overwhelmed or stressed because, you know, the professor is posting things like in random places and nothing can be found. Not so. Here, you go straight to modules. You'll see right there, what should you be working on, right? And every week I will email you guys or I will post an announcement actually telling you exactly what you should be doing. So those of you that haven't seen the announcement, right? I posted one on the first day, sort of like welcoming you, welcoming you and telling you what to do. Uh, but every week you can expect one of these, right? Week one, what did I tell you guys to do, right? Make sure to complete these assignments no later than Sunday. It's the same stuff that I just went over right now in this video. Uh, but you can expect one of these messages in the announcements every week. So sort of telling you, okay, this is what we're going to be working on. This is what you should be doing. This is what's due at the end of the week. And so the other thing, too, that you'll notice is with assignments and with units, uh, they always open on Monday. Okay, so I'll have, let's say it's a particular assignment. Let's say it's the next reading quiz, right? The first one, chapter one. So it opens on Monday, closes on Sunday. Okay, so you have all week to get it done. Again, 10 questions, multiple choice, right? I mean, it's not going to take you that long to get it done. So make it a priority is what I'm trying to say. Um, what else can I tell you? Right, so let's go back to what we're going to be working on starting on Monday. Right, I'm gonna be recording lectures for you guys. I'm gonna post them right here in the unit module. Right, So you have your reading quizzes, you have your assignments, you'll have your test, which is gonna open up at the end of the unit. We'll talk more about that later on, you know, in a couple of weeks. Um, and so I'll have here a space for the lecture. And yes, there's gonna be a PowerPoint that I'll be using to lecture. Um, and I'll probably post that on here for you guys as well, okay? So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll have reading quizzes to do. You'll have some kind of discussion, you know, either on a weekly basis or, you know, maybe one per unit. But in this case, you have one uh, coming up next week, which is discussion unit, discussion 1.1. Right. What I want you to answer here is describe life in Europe just before before exploration of the new world began. Right. Make sure to include details about its society, its economy and religion, which experiences might have contributed to the willingness of Europeans to get involved in colonization. And make sure that you comment on another student's post and provide valuable you know, like contribute something to the conversation. Don't just say, yeah, man, I totally agree with you. You know, high five, emoji sign. No, no emojis. Uh, this is an academic setting, right? So make sure that you cite your work. Uh, make sure that you are adding value to the conversation. And of course, if you don't do those things, 
that's where points get taken off, right? So make sure that you're looking over the discussion um, rubric, right? What is it that I'm gonna be looking at that's been posted as well in the, um, in the more information page. And uh, that's the way it's gonna go, right? So these discussions, again, I would have been having them in the classroom with you guys if we were, you know, in a face-to-face -face setting. Uh, but instead, we're doing it online. So, um, in addition, I've added these crash course videos on there. Um, people that don't like history or have trouble with history have told me that, you know, they've been valuable in helping them understand sometimes um, these complicated topics, right? There's because there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, and so I posted them on there. If you're not familiar with Crash Course or John Green, I think you guys are gonna like it. He does talk a little bit fast, but you get used to it after a while. So anyways, that's there for your benefit. Um, once we are done with you know the next week, then we're gonna be moving on to chapter two, right? So we're gonna have a discussion on that. And uh, let's see what the topic for that is. What do you think? Calling North America the new world is inaccurate. How do you feel about this? Do you st strongly disagree, disagree, are you neutral? Do you agree with this statement? Um, make sure that you explain your answer and give me supporting details as to why you feel that way, right? And then as always, make sure to comment on another student's post, adding valuable you know, information, con contribution is what I'm looking for here. And that's it, you'll be done for the week. We're gonna be moving on to chapter three, right? So what should you be doing? Chapter reading quiz, and then there's gonna be some kind of a discussion, okay? So keep up with these things, make sure that you are, you know, checking in uh, at least every other day, just, you know, especially with the discussions and stuff like that. Um, but no less than on a weekly basis, okay? Um, I'm gonna be recording my lectures, I'm gonna be posting them for you here, and then uh, once we get towards the end of, of the unit, I will have some kind of a study guide. Um, and then uh, we might even have um, a study session if uh, time allows, right? Because it is kind of a crazy setup. Um, so anyways, uh, more information on that, you know, to come later. Make sure that you are keeping up with the module, right? Don't just do the discussions and the quizzes, you know, check to see if there's any other quizzes or assignments that you have to do. In the case for unit one or, you know, yeah, unit one, chapters one through three, um, I do have a quiz there on the 13 colonies, right? So it's geography. Where are they? <laughs> what are these colonies called? Um, and that's it. That is all you gotta do uh, for this class. Um, like I said, you know, try to find some way of uh, making this a part of your routine, right? I know for some of us, it's like routine. What's a routine? No, we, you know, we don't know anymore. Uh, but you know, if that means setting time aside you know, late in the evening when the kids go to sleep or, you know, when you get home from work or whatever, I don't know, um, you know, do that. I think that's what's going to help. Uh, it might help you be successful, um, especially in an online setting, right? Um, like I said, it works best for people that have other stuff going on in the morning or during the day and they can't make it physically into a classroom like the traditional way. Um, but if you're stuck at home or, you know, if you, you work weird hours, um, or you got kids to take care of, you know, I do, or pets or whatever, um, find something that works for you, right? I'm not going to have you guys meet at specific times with me or anything. I will always be available, especially from 12 to 2 every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, but I'm never far from my phone. So if you want, um, you know, to meet with me via Zoom or even if it's like a, a Zoom phone call, uh, we can do that. Um, emails, uh, whatever works, right? I'm never far from my phone. I'm never far from my computer. Um, I'm within reach, you guys. So if you're struggling, uh, you know, let me know. I want to be helpful. Um, if you've got stuff that comes up, um, you know, let me know. Uh, I cannot help you if, you know, you don't tell me. 
So um, communicate with me. Communication is key in this case. And, uh, you know, keep up with the reading. Get your book. Be ready to go on Monday, right? Starting next week because it's, it's going to get, you know, we're going to be doing a, a chapter a week. So it's going to get busy. I'll be recording my lectures. You can watch them um, whenever you have time. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, right? Make sure you're, ca- you're uh, checking your email, checking your announcements, you know, check in with your classes if you've got more than one. Um, but especially with this one, make it a priority, right? I know we're all busy, but if you want to be successful, you got to put a little bit of effort into this, okay? I'm here to facilitate your success, but I need you to put a little bit in from your end of the you know, the bargain here. So um, with that said, I hope this has answered uh, most of your questions. If you think of anything else, uh, reach out, let me know, send me an email, and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, you guys? So uh, until then, I will see you next time, okay? Take care.